I've known Joe since he arrived in town uh, back in probably close to 15 years ago. First, I served as Joe's residency director in family medicine while he was a resident and while he was chief resident in our program. After graduation, he went into practice in the community, so we were colleagues. Then for the last 10 years, I've been chairman of his department. Joe's a very worthy recipient, I think, uh, of this award. Not only is he an outstanding clinician, well known for both his knowledge and his clinical skills, but Joe brings an enthusiasm and a passion to everything that he does. Uh, he's very dedicated to providing evidence-based care for his patients. Joe's developed a very comprehensive nutrition and lifestyle program. Over 15,000 of his patients have gone through. He's very committed to growing medical knowledge and disseminating that. So he's studied these patients very intensively. What he's found, he's published in a number of different studies, and he even wrote a, a textbook that you can buy on Amazon right now that describes both the results and the content of this program. He's published a number of studies over his career on topics having to do with family medicine, general medicine, wellness, and integrative medicine. Joe's even developed a video blog where thousands of patients are able to see him talk about the latest in research having to do with integrative medicine, nutrition, and health. So I think he's a very worthy recipient for this award. When I received the new application, I was incredibly humbled and flattered to uh, receive this award from such a prestigious organization, and Virginia Abgar is a research hero for all physicians. I work for Stanford Hospital. I'm their director of integrative medicine. I have been there for approximately 11 years, and as part of my job at Stanford, I also have a teaching position at Columbia where I teach uh, the medical students, the fellows, and the residents. Uh, we're not using any prescription medications. We are using only natural approaches to significant and serious chronic medical conditions. So there's no pills, it's whatever you can do that doesn't include pills. Integrative is to integrate evidence-based, which means that they actually work. We have published clinical studies. In fact, one of the things at our center is that we will publish studies on things that we do to show that there is evidence. If there is none, we will create the evidence by doing randomized trials and, and uh, other studies. And it's to integrate that into the current medical uh, treatment plan that is done by our physician colleagues. This is really about treatment. Uh, so the patients I see aren't well, they are sick, and we're using nature to make them well again. There is nothing in medicine apart from recognition by your patients and gratitude for a job well done. The second most significant thing is recognition from your colleagues, from your peers, especially given the fact that what I do for many years when I first started was seen as foreign, as a threat, as something that was really supposed to be repressed and eliminated. And over the last 11 years, with the support of the physicians, with the support of my patients and of the hospital, it has really flourished to the extent that um, we publish and that now we're getting recognized, not just myself, my colleagues, recognized uh, in different capacities for the work that we're doing. Um, so it's really coming and flourishing, which is really a gratification. And there is nothing more honored than being recognized by your colleagues.